Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. This is part 2 of JavaScript tutorials. And this video is the continuity of part 1. In part 1, we will just discuss about the how to declare variables and functions as well as the comments. Now we will check JavaScript functions, variables and how to use for loop, if loop, while, do while and switch constructor with the examples. Let's begin. First let me delete this the code. I am creating a function abc which contains a parameter here in document dot write my name is plus x on a browser to print this document dot write on a browser you have to call this function abc so abc now the parameter x give the name like jack save the file refresh see my name is jack just give some space save it is jack now in this example with a single function I can write multiple statements copy this abc jack or abc here type peta the third one I am taking the integer values like 1 to 3 now save the file refresh so here is the output my name is jack my name is Peter and my name is let's give a new line uh, document dot write plus save the file refresh see here my name is Jack my name is Peter and my name is one two three if you want this output on a alert box just go to doc remove this document dot write just type window dot alert save it refresh my name is Jack okay my name is Peter my name is one to three now let's check the other example function sum this sum function taking two parameters a comma b I am declaring a variable c. The c is the result of a plus b. I am adding a plus b and the result will be stored in c. Now, when I call this function document dot write some function, here I am declaring 4 comma 5 and I save this file, refresh see here the result is undefined the reason here we declare the variable c but we have to write here the return c the return is a keyword return keyword c now save the file refresh now the output is 9 how to use if condition in javascript let me delete this all I'm declaring variable a is equals to 30 variable b is equals to 40 now here I'm getting give condition if a double equals to in JavaScript when we are comparing with two variables we have to define double equal to document dot write it's true else document dot write 
it's false now here in this example I'm comparing two variables a is equals to 30 and B is equals to 40 but here in the conditions if both a and B are same it should be print it's true if a and B is not equal it prints false so this file refresh see here in this example a and b are not equal because a is 30 and b is 40 now we'll check if a is greater than b now here in this example i gave the condition a is greater than b but here a is 30 and b is 40 definitely this will be false because b is 40 and a is 30 b is greater than a save the file refresh so it's false let's check a is less than b save the file yeah it's true and the next example we will check how to use end operator in if condition now the next example we will check how to use end operator in javascript this example we will use in if condition in javascript the end operator represents as double ampersand end operator is double ampersand in javascript let me remove this code variable var username is equals to jack and variable password is equals to i'm giving one two three four five just an example just for an example i'm giving one two three four five now if condition if username double equals to jack ampersand double ampersand is end password double equals to one two three four five See here in the if condition the username and password both conditions must be true then only it will display document dot write welcome jack else document dot write please check the username or password now here in this code the username and password both conditions must be true then only it will display the welcome jack otherwise it will display the else condition save the file refresh see here the welcome jack because the username and password both the conditions are true those are deleted the number five save here in this condition the username and password so one the condition we given is wrong refresh see please check the username and password now the next example we will check how to use or operator see in javascript the or operator or or operator we use a symbol double pipe so the difference between end and or operator in end operator the both conditions the given conditions must be true then only it will display the welcome jack or else it will display the please check the username and password just now we check but in or operator just I'm removing the instead of and I'm putting here or or is double pipe double pipe sorry if any one condition is true it will display welcome check see in previous example we removed the number five so I'm again adding the file in password so this file refresh see welcome jack if I remove again file, save this file, refresh, see the output is welcome jack. 
if any one condition username or password if any one condition is true it will display the welcome jack or else please check the username suppose here i'm see here the username is jack and password is 12345 but here the password is wrong i'm deleting j also from the username now the both conditions are wrong compared with the original values save this file refresh please check the username and password so the difference between and and or operator is the and the two conditions must be true whereas in or if any one condition is true it will display the document dot right now the next example we will check how to use for loop in javascript let me delete this all example on for loop if you want to display the n number of series for example i want to display 1 to 100 Usually, how we write document dot write one document dot write two. So this one also double quotes. Imagine if I want to create save this file. Let's see the example. Let put this break. So, one two like this number of sequence. I want to create up to hundred. So imagine how tough it is. We need to write hundred times document dot write, and we need to change the numbers also. It's a lengthy process, and it's not a good programming skills. In this example, I want to create one to ten sequence numbers. For that, I'm using the for loop condition. for loop condition for loop condition the for loop syntax takes three parameters i here i'm giving i i is nothing but a, it's a variable you can take x also y also anything but most people use i is equals to you need to specify the starting number if you want to start with zero you can display zero there i here i want to start the number with one One semicolon. The next condition is I want to display up to ten. Here I give i is less than ten means it will display up to nine only. So we have to give equals to ten. I plus plus is nothing but a it's increment to one value to the i plus plus. document dot write i'm giving i plus i'm giving break also to the file i value up to 10 i given this one to is these things i'm deleting so the file refresh let's check another example we create a five table with this for loop Here I'm declaring variable is equal variable a is equals to five. I want to create a five table, no? Five into i. I is one up to ten. In the document dot write i plus double quotes into plus five plus double quotes plus I'm giving equals to a plus. Here the i value is the sequence into five. The a value is here. Save the file. Run. See here the output is the table five. Five times one five. Five times two ten. Five times three fifteen. Five times four twenty. This is how we write the for loop in JavaScript. That's it. Thank you for watching my video. If you like this please leave your valuable comment share this video and please subscribe my channel catch you in my upcoming videos